Hey, welcome back you to another week of study. Hope the week is starting out blessing Jesus Christ so far. Amen. All right, we in November 2024. Ah, so listen, we're moving along, okay? We're on study number 12. We got one more class talking about in unit two, talking about created with a purpose, okay? So this week we're gonna be talking about the image restored, okay? Remember we lost our image uh, according to the first Adam in the garden. So we, we gave our powers and everything um, to Satan. And so, and all our responsibility that God had given to us and delegated to us, we lost all of that. But God still made a way for us, his creation, to come back to him. And guess what? Good news is that when we come back to him now, we're not only his creation, we're his sons and daughters. If we come to him the right way that he says in the Bible, and it's only through his son, Jesus Christ. So let's get um, into the word and to, to the study and see how we can get our image restored. Okay, but let's do the most important thing first and then ask God to give us understanding. Why? So our time together won't be for nothing. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for faithfulness of your word. We thank you, God, for your word is living, it's life, God. And we and we thank you, God. We cannot live without it, God. It's the, it's the bread of life, God. It's the manna from heaven, God, that keeps us on track with you, God. It keeps us in relationship with you, God. So I just ask you, God, to give us insight as we study this class, God, in a short time together, God. Just give the youth, God, and all those that are, are listening, God, that's joining in, God, that you would just give us insight, God. That's, that's all because without the insight, God, without spiritual insight, without spiritual insight, our knowledge and wisdom, God, then we just here for nothing, God. And it's because we know your word is not flesh, it's not carnal, God, but your word is spirit and it's life. So, God, I your word speak to our spirit today, God. God, reconnect us back to you, God, so we will have our image restored. Let the, you see this today, God, that their identity is in, in their image and their image is in you because you're the one that gave us our image because you created us in your image. So, God, let us see this today. As we go through this lesson, we pray all these blessings in your name, Jesus. Amen. All right. And that's true. We was created in his image. We lost the image, but God made a way to get our image restored. Okay? So we're going to find out how we can do that today. We've been talking about it. We've been hitting on it um, um, in the last few weeks. Uh, but you heard me say a word that's really you're going to hear resonate again today, and that's redeem or redeemer. Okay, and that's very important because without a redeemer, we will not be redeemed. And we, and we, if we have not been redeemed, then we are still uh, slaves to sin. We, <laughs> we're still slaves to the world. We are still enslaved to, to everything that's not of God if Jesus Christ is not our redeemer. So without a redeemer, uh, man, we're still in the worst state um, as Adam was when they first fell and was hiding from God, and, and we are still hiding today if we didn't have a Redeemer. But thank God we do have a Redeemer, and we're going to learn about Him today. Amen? So we're going to start reading in Hebrews chapter 2, starting at verse 6, and it said, But one testified in a certain place, saying, What well, is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you take care of him? Verse 7, you have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor and set him over all the works of your hands. Verse 8, you have put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do not yet see all things put under him, but we see Jesus, amen, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering and the death crowned with glory and honor that he, talking about Jesus, by the grace of God might taste death for everyone. Verse 10, for it was fitting for him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons to glory to make the captain of our salvation perfect through suffering. The Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 15, and release those, and release those freeing us, freeing them, those was 
through fear of death were all were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Okay, um, man. So without the Redeemer, we still would be in bondage. We wouldn't be free in Jesus Christ. We still would be in bondage to the world, in bondage to the slavery, in bondage to the vices that the world uses, that, that, that Satan entraps us with, that he deceives us with. But praise be to God, today we have a Redeemer, okay? Our memory verse is Hebrews 2.6, uh, but someone testified in a certain place saying, why this man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you take care of him. We've got to understand, this is so powerful, is that it was mind-blowing that God will create a being in, the, in his image. This is mind-blowing. Not a robot, not somebody who he's going to force follow him or gonna, he going to force um, to obey him. But the liberty to give us free will to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get glory out of this because I'm going to give man a free will to choose right from wrong. Okay, I'm going from life to death. Okay, but, and, and so this free will, it, it, was, it, it wasn't temp, um, intended to be exercised by um, evil doing or or being deceived, it was it was all in the in the purpose of just being in the presence of Almighty God. That that was it. If if, if Adam and Eve had just obeyed that one commandment, don't eat from the fruit of this tree, okay, of good and evil, okay. The, the, if if you, if you obey that one, then the free will. And that was free will, but the free will wouldn't have come with so much weight um, because the weight was when they disobeyed, that's when they found out that they was naked. They realized that they needed to cover themselves. They realized that they, was, they, that they didn't need to be in the presence of God anymore, but to hide from him. Why? Because something happened. Okay, the image, the the image was broken right in that point because God created them in his image. But the image was stolen away because if last week we talked about the consequences of disobedience, that the consequences was the, 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 the woman, she had a childbearing was going to be more painful, okay? Uh, the man who God told him to put, that he created the, the garden and put man in the garden that he created and just to keep it, okay? So he still had to work. Thank you, Pastor, for, for clarifying all those small details, it's like we had to, Adam still had to work, but just not in those conditions. <laughs> After he has disobeyed God, the conditions changed, okay? He still had to work, but not with thorns and thistles, not by the sweat of his brow. It was, it was a different kind of work. It was like a maintaining kind of work, but now this is a, a, a more stressful, um, more effort, um, type kind of work now, okay, and and even that the, the serpent had consequences um, for 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 its action and and and, and its circumstances consequences were you won't be upright anymore. You're going to be on your belly eating dust for the rest of your life, okay. So so this is my um blowing to for God to make somebody something in His own image. Wow, even. Somebody said, <laughs> "Who is the who is man? Like they, 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 you you give this 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 person this, this being. We know who he is. We know he's a man. But God, you give him so much care, and you and and, and we seen you doing things in heaven that we never seen before. Even the angel testifying said, wow, who is this? This this, this cre creature that God created that He put that He cared for him so much." That he's showing so much love to and attention and detail to this to this to this creature that he created. Who who is man? That man that he that, that, that he given him all of, of this affection and, and, and instructions and guidance and wanting to be in his presence and, and walk with them and talk with them and have a relationship. Who 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 is man? And and so this is this is mind-boggling when you look at it in, in this sense, okay? 
And, and our main idea today is the cross of Christ was the mortal uh, weapon to overcome and strip the devil of all his claims over the human race, okay? I know some look at the cross as being defeated, like, uh, uh, as only death. They, they see the cross only as something suffering. It was. It was torture for Jesus Christ. And But the, but if, if you get in, um, start reading the book of Hebrews, and, and you, you, you will see that, that the cross was so necessary because it wasn't that death had the power. It because God had the power over death, but Christ had to go to the cross <laughs> to free us first, to be our redeemer first, okay? Because he had to go through everything that we put him through, okay? He would never have to go to that cross if we had never sinned. But since he, since we sinned and we was broken and we was already dirty, we was, our righteousness was like filthy rags. And, and like how Amy explained it, like really filthy rags. Um, that we couldn't redeem ourselves. Money could not buy us back to God because sin separated us from God. So gold couldn't do it. Money couldn't do it. Even the angels couldn't do it. Okay, so this is being when we so when we look at the cross, don't don't look at the cross as being defeated. No, the cross was victorious. Yes, it was bloody. It was stained with the blood. It was stained with with with, with suffering and, and and agony. Yes, it was. And but Christ had to withstand that because He said for the joy that was set before Him. That's why he endured the cross, okay? Because of the joy, he already saw us being victorious in him. Not, not in our own will, but in him. That's the big, that's the difference. Because he's saying, first of all, the Bible said that we were all like sheep um, going astray. We were like sheep without a shepherd. It, 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 it's like our hearts go out, even especially the, the, the mothers and, and women. Women just have a, a, a natural um, nourishing spirit that God has just placed in them to nurture. And, and, and that's so beautiful because when they even see other children that's in a, in a, in a predicament that's, that's, that's sad, that they just love that child, even though it's not even theirs. They, want to, they, they would love that child just like it was theirs. Why? Because of that, 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 that nurture. And, and that's why Christ saw us. The Father said he, he saw us like a, a sheep without a shepherd, okay, we just was, we was lost, we was broken, we were devastated, we couldn't find our way back, we couldn't, that there's nothing we can do, you know, we handed the keys to Satan in the, in, when we, when we, Adam, the first Adam disobeyed the carnal Adam, the first Adam, when he disobeyed, he, he gave the keys to authority that God had given him, he had given it to Satan. And now Satan has the, the, the Bible said that he's the ruler. He had the power of the era of this world down here. And, and so, and, and, but is it stronger than God? No. Is it more powerful than God? No. But it, it's set in place. It, 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 everything is in a process. It's a judicial process. So, yes, Christ could have came in and God could have did miraculous thing and, and done what he wanted to do. But we got to realize, remember when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane, that when he told his disciples to pray and, and watch, and they couldn't, but then when they came and took him, and they wanted to fight, and, and Peter took the sword and wanted to cut off the ear, and he said, don't you know I have the power to, to call down legions of angels if I have to, but put your sword in back in your sheath, for who live by the sword should die by the same sword, okay? So what he was teaching us is that he said, I can't even take a shortcut myself, okay? It's been, in, 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 it's a process that we have to go through, a judicial process. So he's saying, that's why I gotta keep myself uh, um, innocent. I gotta keep myself righteous, why? Because he knew that he was the only one that could be the redeemer, okay? The Bible said he, he, he didn't sin, he, the one that didn't know sin, but he took upon sin. What do you mean he took upon the sin of, of us? <laughs> we, who put Jesus on the cross? We did sin. We, 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 we put him on the cross. He didn't do anything to deserve to be to die in that fashion like a cursed man, but the Bible said he came a curse 
for us. That's why he was stretched. Why he would he he took on why we why every one of us should 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 have um experienced, okay? That's why the Bible said he tasted death for many. Wait, well, well, what you mean many? Well, he actually tasted death for all, but the sad, sad part is not all is going to accept him. So as many is going to accept him, he tasted death for many. That's why the Bible said that narrow is the way that those who are going to find him and follow him, and broad is the way that those who are not going to follow him. Everybody can take that broad way out, but the, as many in that narrow path, if they're going to accept him as Lord and Savior, the Bible said that he had tasted death for us, that means we should not die no more, okay? We're going to be with him for eternity. But Paul said to live is Christ and to die is gain. Other words, he said, I'm, I'm a winner either way. I'm, I'm winning now if you stone me to death or if the snake had bit me and, and I died or if the shipwreck had, had drowned me and I died, I still would have been a winner. Why? Because I still would have been in his presence for eternity, okay? So he's our, Christ is our redeemer and that the three objectives that we're going to accomplish and might already accomplish some of them already is the first one to understand why Christ needed to die on the cross. Okay, we touched in already on that. Second, we're going to discover that the most significant victory was achieved in the battle fought at the cross. We're going to touch on that. And third, we're going to appropriate the powerful benefits that comes from uh, Calvary's victory. Okay. And, and, and man, and Brother Panchito, he had preached on this Sunday, talking about forget not the benefits, and Brother Joshua opened up the service with that, and they, and they haven't even uh, uh, cohered together, but everything was in, 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 in unity, it connected, okay, and so we can't forget all his benefits, okay, oh my soul, my God, the, the benefits of, of, of Christ, is is it is, is you, you can't leave out the cross it, it, you got to add in the cross because without the cross <laughs> that there will be no no crown without the suffering okay the, 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 the redeemer cannot redeem us back okay all of these things is 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 part of the curse of sin okay that christ had to he had to take on all of this weight all of it all of it all of it why so we can be free in him well, we actually finally could be liberated in him because if he didn't suffer, if, if he didn't die, if, if he didn't have to go through everything he had to went through, the, 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 the stripes, the 39 stripes saved one. Okay, if, if, he hadn't, if, if he didn't take the spirit aside, if, if he didn't have the crown of thorns pressed in the skull, if he didn't have his face spit on, if he did, if they didn't pull his beard out by the hand, if they didn't slap him on the face and mock him and humiliate him, that everything that comes with the curse that we cause, then he could not be our liberator. He, he could not be our, our redeemer, okay? And he known as a redeemer as this, okay? Because what he had went through, he was the kinsman. He couldn't send an angel because the angel is not like us. He couldn't send no animal. That's why the animals, back in the Old Testament, when they sacrificed the animals and took the blood on the hyssop and sprinkled, and sprinkled the blood with the hyssop, none of that could, 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 could redeem us, okay? For it, it was in the system that it would cover sin just for a moment to bring us into Christ, okay? Because the only thing that could really cleanse us and liberate us and save us and bring us back in, real, in the right relationship with the Father is the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. His blood, don't own, it, it don't cover, it atones. That means it's, it, it's a no, it, 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 it's gone. He's the redeemer, okay? He paid the ransom that nobody can pay. Nobody can pay this ransom only he could pay this ransom. And believe me, he paid it in full totality. It, there was nothing left. There was no change left. He paid it in full. He didn't have the right and say, I'll be back. Can I borrow? I need some more time. Do no, no. He, his blood, he paid it one time in full on the cross. He, he, he paid it. And after he endured the cross, oh God, then the father, 
it, 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 it excited him because now he's saying, oh, uh, I'm going to show you now what my son did on the cross. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you why he had the joy that was set before him, why he endured all that curse, all that pain, all that agony, all that suffering. I'm going to show you why, because on the third day, I'm going to raise him up. And <laughs> with power. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, and not only that, I'm going to give him power in heaven and in earth. How much power? All power, according to the gospel. Jesus said, now all power has been given to me. Oh, God, all power in heaven and in earth. And so that same resurrect, the Bible said, the same spirit that resurrected Christ from the dead will resurrect our mortal body. It, it's going to resurrect us as well. The same. If if Christ is our Redeemer, that's the only way it happens. He got to be our Redeemer, okay? Oh, um, I know. So can you really say, my Redeemer lives? Can, can you say that? Can you say it not only when things, it, it, it's, you're having a mountaintop experience. No, everybody can say, oh, my Redeemer lives. But you, but the Redeemer, if you really know what a, who is our Redeemer and what he had to go through to redeem us back, to the Father. He had to be a close kinsman. He had to be the Bible said he, he was made in the in the in the likeness of man and being in the fashion of man, he humbled himself. He 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 had to humble himself. First he was in the likeness of God, all, Almighty, but he humbled himself and became the likeness of man. He had to he had to come in the fashion of a man. Why? Because he had to be our redeemer. He had to be a close kinsmen but there was a still there was a requirement what the requirement was he still had to remain righteous he, he couldn't sin because that would have violated the, the one of the, the, the requirements of the redemption process then if he had if jesus had sinned then we had to look for another redeemer but he we didn't because he, he withstood all the temptations of satan he, he, he satan was trying to entrap him when he was hungry and, and, and he was trying to tell him if if you the son of man a son of god where well, he know he jesus know he was the son of god he had to, he didn't have to prove anything he, he didn't say i'm prideful i'm gonna show you who i really am no the bible said he was humble oh oh like a lamb led to the slaughter he did not open his mouth he he he, he was humble why because he knew that he had to execute the perfect plan of the Father, step by step, detail by detail. Why? Because the Bible said, who is this man that you're so mindful of him, that you, you take care of him? He said, I got to do this right, Father. I can't skip. I, I, I can't take a shortcut because I know that I, I'm the only redeemer. The, I'm the only chance they have to be back in relationship with you. Man, what a beautiful. If we can get that, you... If we can get that all those listening, if we can get that, we will love him. We will do what the Bible said. We will love the Lord God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We will love him with every fiber that we have. And if we can't love him like that, that, that would be our prayer. God, this, I want to love you. That's my desire. My desire ain't for all these worldly things and all a bigger house or a nicer car or a better job. Those things are good if you if you bless me with them, but that's not what's going to drive me. No, what, what motivates me, what's going to make my heart burn is, is, is I want to love you with every fiber in me I, because why because you love me why because you say that who is this man that you so mindful of him that you that you taking care of him you, you, you giving him all your attention that's us that's us that's that's who he loves he, he, lo he loves us he became a curse for us man there's 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 not no other excuse that's why when, when the day comes and, and, and your name is not found in the land book of life Yes, it's going to be a sad day, but Christ is going to look at the Father and say, and the Father is going to look at Jesus and say, we've done all we could do. That's, that's the, we, we've done all we could do. We, I sent you. I made them in my image. They, they, they lost their image. I made a way back for them to get back in relationship with me, and they didn't accept my son. And But those who did is with me now entering to rest. Okay, now they're in, in, entering to rest. But the ones whose name is not found in the Lamb's Book of Life, there's, there's no excuse. I mean, <laughs> Christ, they, they, the, the plan of salvation has been paid all. All we have to do is repent, accept, and submit and follow his instructions. That's, that, that's it. That's it. That, there's no excuse. 
But that, 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 Jesus ain't gonna say, God, Father, there's something else I could have did. No, there's nothing else he could have done. The Holy Spirit is down here now working, working, trying to get as many, trying to get all to come to Christ. Why? Because the Bible said in Peter that that's not God's desire for any man should perish, but his desire is that everybody come to repentance, everybody be saved. That's his desire. So if we don't repent and we don't and we are not saved, that's that's on us. We made that decision, not God. God already made a plan to get back with him. So you what is your answer today? Okay? Do you want your image restored? You, have, have you lost your image and it's still lost? But, it, but after hearing this message, you can have it restored. Jesus Christ is the redeemer. There's no, don't, you don't have to look for another. The, you, you can't pay your way. You can't be good enough. You, you can't be smart enough. You can't be intelligent enough. You got to be submissive enough. That's it. Submit to him. That's what you got to do. Submit. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow him daily. And then you can have your name written in the Lamb book of life. Get a relationship with, with God, but you can only have it through Jesus Christ. You can't bypass him. Why? Because he's the redeemer. He's the one that closed the gap. He's the one that tied us back to the Father. So you cannot get to the Father without the redeemer. And the redeemer is Jesus Christ. So you, there's your answer. So you know who to choose, okay? Get your image restored back today in Jesus' name. I love you. See you next week. Amen.